This is an incoming transmission from the Jersey Shore. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, powered by McLean Advisory Group. Today you'll hear some of the most important financial information and wealth building techniques available anywhere. Let's get this party started, huh? Do you have a question for Scott and the team? Am I, am I, am I on the air? 609-488-4646. That's 609 609- 488-4646. We'll get that information to them by radio. Now, Financial Insanity with Scott McClain. Thank you for joining us for another installment of Financial Insanity. I have with me, as always, the ultimate master of finance. Well over 43 years experience, but still with that youthful energy. Scott McClain, right here in Waretown, New Jersey. Remember, Hello, Sonny. There he is. <laughs> Remember, if you hear something today it resonates with you or you just want to call Scott because he sounds like a good time, the number 609-488-4646, 609 Four six four six. Now, Scott, obviously accomplished author, outstanding radio host as well, but you're also a financial advisor and you have a knack of breaking down these complex financial concepts, make them a simple, digestible information for folks. Today, you're going to take us through the world of annuities. Where to begin, my friend? You know, annuities, Alex, I think it's, it'd make your head spin faster than a roulette wheel. But let's not fear. For those of you listening annuities, there's the good, bad, and the ugly. I want to explain the difference between the four types of annuities because people get upset. They're saying, I don't want an annuity. Well, you just might want one. But I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm here to educate you because I can tell you if you go to a salesman, they're going to want money from you, and they're going to probably sell you the highest paying commission out there. So be careful, Alex. That's really important. Yeah, absolutely. And I know, like you said, there are four types. And, you know, some people are going to say, you know, all annuities are bad. Well, like most things, that's not obviously going to be true. But where does it start? What are the differences? And and why are some considered good, considered bad? Or is that even fair to say? It's a good start. I think you'll determine what's good or bad for yourself if you're out there. But I'm going to try to break it down real simple. You think about uh, really the first type of annuity out there, which starts the realm of do you like it or not? I think about it. It's almost like what's that movie? Forrest Gump It's like Mm. a box of chocolates. I mean, you never know what you're going to get. And when you think about it, the variable annuity is really you invest the money into the stock market. They call that sub accounts like mutual funds. And the value of the mutual fund can go up and down, or the annuity can go up and down. The value of the account can go up and down. But when the salesman gets there, he'll say, well, we've got a guaranteed 6% annuity. Whether the market goes up or goes down, you're going to get guaranteed 6%. And the crowd roars. That's right. But the problem with this crowd roaring You think you're avoiding losses, but the cash value is subject to losses. But the 6% could be the income rider. And like a box of chocolates, listening to you guys, you may take the wrong piece out and break your teeth on fees and expenses. So this could really cause the dentist to pull a few of your cavities and teeth out because you could lose a lot of money on fees and expenses. I've seen them, Alex, as high as four to four point two five percent. Imagine, Alex, you give me three hundred thousand dollars. We invest it. You would think you're getting six percent hmm. on the annuity, but you're getting it on the income rider. We'll go in that more de- in more in depth. But again, we think about it. Meanwhile, you put in the money. What's four percent times three hundred thousand? It could be over a twelve thousand dollars in fees. And many times the advisor never tells you, but they could say to you, well, I mentioned that, but it's in the contract. Didn't you read it? So I call it the, uh, it's deceptive. Uh, we can't, we don't want to say deceptive. We don't want to say that your advisor is deceptive. I don't want to be mean to any advisors out there, but I can make it very clear when people come and meet with us and get a second opinion. And if you have that, I'd love you to do that. But when you get that second opinion, there are hidden four to five individual fees that could really crank up your wallet and not get the return you're expecting, Alex. And and if you're out there, by the way, you know, 
I, I, I want to help you. No cost, no obligation. Please feel free to give our studios a call, Alex. I want them to give us a call because I'd surely hate you to come to a radio show. You're listening. You just turned us on. And you say, what's this fees? What's the expenses? 609-488-4646. Again, 609-488-4646. I'd love to take your call off the air. I'll, I'll try to do my best to answer any questions. I've done this business for for many, many years, as Alex mentioned, and I'm not going to try to spin you into making a sale. That's not my goal. Frankly, you could have your grandkids tweet out to your friend, Scott lied. He's trying to sell me. No, I don't want that. I want you to tweet out to your friends or go on the Facebook or Instagram or whatever it is and say, I got great information from Scott. That's why we called him at 609-488-4646. Alex, yeah. variable annuities. It's right. a very, very intrinsic, very different type of annuity out there that many people get confused about. And it sounds like wonderful, wonderful loaf of bread that could have some major mold in it. And you left out TikTok there as you're rambling oh, off right. the, oh, I, the different <laughs> social media being used by the kids today. You got to remember that TikTok. Oh, Come on. that's right. Tickety talk. 609-488-4646 is the number. We're talking about annuities today on Financial Insanity with Scott McClain. 609-488-4646. All right, so we talked about the variable annuity. What is next, Scott? Let's go to the Domino's Pizza. Mm, okay. Immediate annuity. It's an immediate annuity. Like ordering a pizza, you pay for a lump sum up front, and in return, you're getting a fixed monthly payment. Now, by the way, we have a few clients, not many, that have this. It's just right for a very few people. And this is the second type of annuity that what gives an annuity a bad name. Let me give you an example. I'm Alex, Alex, you and your beautiful uh, uh, sweetie pie, you go to retire. Here you are, 65, 70 years old, and you buy an immediate annuity. You give the company a check for, let's say, $200,000 and you're going to get a check for the rest of your life, let's say $800 a month. By the way, this is an example. Now you're getting that check for $800 a month. It's an annuity and you are going to get that for the rest of your life. And you've got a long lifespan. Uh, God has blessed you and your family. Oh, I'm going to live forever. Dad, you're going to live forever. Yep. And so you bought this vehicle and you're getting that $800 a for the rest of your life. You and your wife are tickled pink. You're happy as a pig in a barrel. Uh, I, I, I can tell you're excited, but what happens? All of a sudden, you're going down the road. Bang. God takes you home. You get in a car accident. Unforeseen. Maybe you've got a health problem. Something happened and you passed away. Well, on many of these immediate annuities, depending what clause you have, this is the gobbledygook, that $800 is completely gone. But here's the worst case. All the money that you put into the immediate annuity, that's gone as well. Now, there's several types of immediate annuities. This is why if you have an immediate annuity, please do yourself a favor right now. Right now, y'all listen to me. Listen, write this down. 609-488-4646. If you have this vehicle or not sure if you do, I'd encourage you to give us a call off the air to say, Scott, I need your help. I'm not sure what kind of annuity I have. Now, again, this could be a good annuity for very few people, but not for everybody. Because yep. what happens is maybe you want to leave some money to the loved ones. This is not the right annuity for you. But if maybe you're the only one out there and you have no ben other people, well, maybe you go ahead and just okay. buy the immediate annuity and get a check for the rest of your life and you pass away. Well, no, if you have no heirs to pass on to, this could be a good tool. Alex, this yep. is an immediate annuity. I love it. All right, we immediately need to move on to the next one. We only have uh, a few minutes left. We got to go through the next two, Scott. We want to give them the time that they deserve. So, fixed annuity. Yes, the fixed one annuity. similar the to CDs, one. right? But yeah, uh, higher yeah. return. And they smell and look like a CD, but they grow tax deferred. This is the simplest of all simple annuities. Very simple. I like simple. You, you, you put in, Alex, you put in $100,000. I think the highest rate of rate I've seen the, lately in the state of New Jersey, you know, five, six percent guaranteed. And they pay you the interest out every month or you can let it compound tax deferred. No tax on the money. So if you've got money taking a nap, 
this could be a great tool for those who are scared of the stock market, don't want to take any participate in the stock market, want to make some nice, steady, I call it turtle money. It's slow and steady that will win the race. And let's say you're getting 5%. You put $100,000 in, you know for certainty you're getting the 5000 But wait, my friends, there's more. You could be having to making sure that it is a solid company. And we like to use a Comdex rating and the Weiss ratings and other type of rating service to make sure the insurance company is solid. So this is a fixed, note. very simple, smells and looks like in a, a CD, but has a lot of wonderful benefits and higher returns than most all CDs. Love now it. the next one, Alex, is a little yep. bit different. Yep, and before we get to that one real quickly, remember if you have any questions about annuities, anything else, 609 609- 488-4646 is the number, 609-488-4646 at aid.com for the website. Scott, take us home. What's the final one? The last one is called an indexed annuity. I mean, if you look at a book of Susie Oman wrote called The Road to Wealth, that she said she doesn't like annuities all, but she did say, I like this one oh. kind of annuity because it kind of competes with mutual funds in the mid nineties. A indexed annuity can index with the stock market and it has good and bad and ugly, it has what's called cap rates. Now it's, listen, listen guys, it's not for all your money. Although it is a very dynamic type of product. See, if it has a cap rate of 10, if the stock market goes up five, you get five. If the stock market, the S&P 500 goes up seven, you get 7% for the year. If the stock market goes up 10, you get 10. If the stock market goes up to 20, what do you think you get? Well, you get 10. You get upset, but you get 10. But the beauty is if the stock market starts to drop, you lose nothing. And most all of the, in, I said most, all of the index annuities have no fees. But be careful, some do. This is why when you speak to your advisor or you'd like to give us a call at our office and say, Scott, I need some questions, 609-488-4646. This is a great tool but not for all of your money. A great tool that can compete with the stock market. It's kind of in there, but you don't want the risk. You want faster than the, the turtle, the fixed annuity, but you kind of want to have a little bit of a jet engine inside of it. This could be a great tool called the index annuity. Again, it's not for all your money where a lot of guys and girls are out there. The advisor want to push it. Yeah. This is not for all your money. Well, and, and Scott, as we have just a minute left here, so final thought uh, as we yeah. end the segment I want you to hit on is just the fact that obviously your firm uh, does a lot with taxes. What to consider when it comes to that uh, with annuities? What's the tax consideration just to think about? The beautiful tax consideration, like I was talking about, most all the annuities, if you're not pulling money out, is it's, it's not taxed. If you're taking the requirement of distribution, it's like taking from the IRA. You'll have to pay the ordinary income. The nice thing about annuities, if you've got a lot of money, you want to pass it on to your kids, and maybe you say, you know what, I want to grow it like a turtle, steady, fixed index, fixed annuity or index annuity. It grows tax deferred. In other words, you're not paying tax on the gains. You'll pay tax one time, but the question is, when do you need the money? So again, this is why the advisor, why we look at the tax returns in light of the investments, no matter what investments they are, to make a sound, solid, strategic decision for your money mm -hmm. so you can put your head on your pillow, can sleep well at night, knowing that your money is covered by a nice, strong insurance company and, and you don't want to take the left hooks that are in the stock market. This could be a great tool. Four tools, variable annuity. Second tool, immediate annuity. Third tool, fixed annuity. Fourth tool is index annuity. They could be good for you. By the way, I'm not saying to sell the annuities, but this is a good time to have a good discussion, maybe a second or third opinion. 609-488-4646. No cost, no obligation. I'd love to help educate you on making the right decision with your money. Thank you, Scott. More financial insanity coming up on the other side. Don't go anywhere. Who likes uncertainty? Wall Street certainly does not. With near record inflation and partisan politics, there's a lot of uncertainty right now. What will America's future look like? What will your future look like? Will your taxes go up? Will your savings go down? 
For more than 40 years here in the Jersey Shore area, Scott McLean and the team at McLean Advisory Group have seen uncertainty come and go. No matter what the future holds, Scott can help you create a plan designed to preserve your finances in uncertain times. And it's not a matter of if those uncertain times will show up, but when. Call 609-488-4646 now to meet with Scott McLean and the team at McLean Advisory Group. If uncertainty is causing you to feel insecure, Scott McLean might be able to help. Call 609-488-4646 and schedule your visit today. Again, that's 609-488-4646. Investment advice is offered through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Can we really live the go-go years or am I going to scrimp and save and stay at home and watch TV and watch Bob Barker? I don't know. Nothing wrong with that. No. No. <laughs> this is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, presented by McLean Advisory Group. Thousands of baby boomers retire every day. And by 2030, they're all going to be 65 years old. And if baby boomers are up to bat for retirement, that means Generation X is on deck. Financial insanity. I'm Alex Dingman along with Scott McLean. If you hear something today, raises some questions, 609-488-4646 is the number. 609-488-4646. And Scott, we're going to talk about Gen X here in just a moment, but 10,000 boomers turning 65 each and every day. And when you have that many people leaving the workforce, uh, it's going to be some potential impact on the uh, economy, I would think, Scott. Huge impact. Huge impact bit. leaving the economy. And, of course, that's why you want to have more kids so we have people to pay for these these Social Security benefits. What is it? Every uh, For every retiree getting Social Security, uh, uh, we, we're going to have a problem that yet one equals one. Could we get to that denomination for every person that retires? You could have one person to pay for that. That's a big problem. And it used to be a 20 to one many years ago. So it's going to be a big impact people leaving. I find this funny. I think it's real funny. I remember when I was a young little rat a couple, a couple of years ago uh, when my dad was around and a brilliant man. And he says, son, as you build your companies out, and like we've had a couple companies. I've uh, done a lot of real estate. I've bought a lot of real estate properties, built a development in, in a place called uh, Tom's river new jersey on todd road you'll see mclean court winston court build a bunch of we just had a fun while i was running the business and, and he says son when you get older just remember look at the older person they've got a lot of wisdom don't get don't fire an older person if they've got a lot of wisdom insight that was really helpful to me now that i'm the older guy Luckily, I have my own business. They can't fire me because uh, I'm ugly. But uh, <laughs> the, the neatest thing is, you know, I think we have a lot of people that are getting out of business. We have a lot of older people staying in the business. But imagine them leaving. And now you bring in a young, young stud or stud ed in the in the industry um, and they don't have the wisdom. They have the drive. They have the energy. But that could, of course, pr cause a problem called quality control, hmm. cause a problem called excessive work or excessive time. Maybe people are spending time looking at their phones versus looking at the work. You've got these young studs and stud S uh, they think they know everything, but they, and they have some older person like myself helping educate them. Like I do with George, who's been with me for many, many years, a brilliant financial uh, planner and financial advisor. And there's, he's, he's luckily he's listening to me and, and taking that in. I hope those young people out now are doing that as the old people are leaving, the baby boomers are leaving. This is going to cause a rumble in the market. Remember the old, the old folks like myself, we have the majority of money and the younger folks want it. And the question is, how will it last? Are they getting the financial education they need to make their money last? And I think that's uh, really important, Alex. Yep. Are they getting that education? What do they What do they do with their money and how do they handle it? And I don't know if mom and dad's really talking to them because there's no financial classes in school that are doing it. Well, sure. And, you know, one thing uh, that everybody wants is to leave a legacy. And one legacy could be uh, financial support for, you know, generations behind you. And, and one area where you Gen Xers uh, could, you know, learn something from boomers is getting started early. And so you yes. have these Gen Xers right now, uh, maybe they're in their, their mid-50s, still 10 to 15 years from retirement, but 
That doesn't mean they should just be sitting back and wait. They've been hearing about retirement. They've been thinking, oh, that's my dad. That's my mom. That, that's the yep. baby boomers. Yep. No, that's now you almost. And so now's the time for those folks to really be thinking about it, if not even before now. Now, Alex, you're a lot younger than I am, but I think what's so funny, nothing has changed. You think about when you're a little a little kid and Christmas was coming, for those who celebrate Christmas, and, and, you, and you look in the countdown, and here it is July, July 2000, and all of a sudden you're about to have Christmas, you're a young little whippersnapper, and, and, and July to December 25th is so far away, but us older folks are thinking it's right around the corner. Yep. And I think about almost retirement, it's almost the same thing, it's right around the corner corner. So I'd like to give those of you a quick heads up on math. Let me give you a quick math. If you have grandkids or kids, I call it 10% rule. I call it the 10% rule. I have said this several times on my shows. I know Alex, you've brought it up many, many times. When you talk about the 10% rule, what does that mean, Scotty? Well, here's what it means, y'all. You ready? Brainwash your grandkids. Brainwash your children to save 10% every paycheck till retirement. I can tell you that's probably the best brainwashing you could ever do. Why? Because it works with compound interest, dollar cost averaging, compound interest, dollar cost averaging, the averaging the rule of 10% in retirement for savings for retirement. So if my paycheck and I'm delivering newspapers, you grandkids out there, please tell your grandparents, please tell your, hey, if you made, I don't, do they deliver newspapers, Alex? Do they, I don't know if they do uh, that man, anymore. I you know, that. I, I don't think so, my man. <laughs> That's a, a there might all be right, a few right. towns that still do it, but. <laughs> well, I'm just thinking if you're making 10 bucks delivering newspapers or mowing the yard for $25, $2.50. Now getting your kid to save $2.50, I talk about that in my introduction to my book. That's $2.50. I guarantee they start getting brainwashed it's going to become a habit and that muscle memory, that habits can stay with them and they will be very, 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 very secure at retirement dollar cost averaging 10%. Now, if you're older and you're heading into retirement, maybe it's a higher number. And so that's why you want to give me a call to Scott. Am I on target? Will I have enough for the money to last 609-488-4646? Scott, I need to ask you a question. Let's get together off the air, no cost, no obligation. I promise you, I will not try to say anything, but I can tell you, let's find out if you're on target or off target. There's nothing worse than, as you mentioned in the beginning of this segment, Alex, that many people are afraid to ask questions. Why? Because they're going to get sold. Why are they asking questions? Because they're embarrassed. Why? Because they should. They feel they should know, but they don't know. This is why do you go to professionals for guidance. And, and that's why I, I have in my workshop and, and all my education, when people meet with us, hide your checkbook, hide your wallet. You can't do business with me. Let's get to know each other. And then we can decide if it's a good fit for you or for, for my firm. Because not knowing is that's the biggest pain, which is called change. Am I willing to change my habits? Then once you change your habits, the biggest problem, listen to me, this is you listening, is called procrastination. You keep putting it off, but you didn't call McLean Advisory Group or an advisor. You didn't give a call at 609-488-4646. I got to put a plug, but you didn't call us to get some information, no cost, but you didn't find out the information you need to know to your circumstance, whether you're having a great marriage and it's maybe your child gets sick, maybe you're about to get remarried. What kind of trust should you have? How do I protect my assets for my children, even though I'm getting remarried? How do I take care of my lovely uh, spouse in case their lights go dim? How do I make sure my money is in a good position because the market's so volatile? These are questions people are afraid to ask because they're afraid to get sold. And then you end up putting it off for procrastination and doing nothing. There's nothing worse than sticking your head in the sand because what happens? Your vitals are exposed like a uh, like an ostrich looking at their egg. This is a challenge I find, Alex. 609-488-4646 is the number. 609-488-4646. Just add a dot com for the website. And like Scott mentioned earlier, you can go to the site there and send in your own questions, which is just so important, Scott, because 
that's what we're going to talk about on the show is we wouldn't be talking about stuff if people weren't worried about it they didn't have concerns they didn't have questions and so getting those to us is just so important because we want to try i'd to love to help all. i'd love to help the people put your questions down go to our website give give us a shout out i think that's critical heck yeah all right well gen xers not quite retiring in droves just yet but definitely need to start thinking about it getting their head into the game we're going to talk about more of that coming up this is financial insanity with scott mcclain it's nice when you get everything on your list in one place isn't it scott mcclain from mcclain advisor group agrees that's why he offers comprehensive retirement planning all under one roof you shouldn't have to go one place for tax planning another for estate planning and another for retirement income planning That's why McLean Advisory Group was started. Scott wanted to build a company that could help families with all aspects of their retirement planning. McLean Advisory Group is more than just convenient. They're knowledgeable and experienced. And for answers for your questions, you can set up a meeting with Scott and his team to talk about your retirement. 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. Use the same number to reach a team online. 609-488-4646.com. Investment advisory services are offered through Bellpoint Asset Management, LLC. Firm offers insurance services but does not provide tax or legal advice. Put your positive hat on. Let's let's have a call to come to Jesus meeting. Let's have a real live discussion. Let's get somewhere and put a, a game plan together. We made it back. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, presented by McLean Advisory Group. Gen Xers not retiring in droves just yet, but they are worried about how to get ready for retirement. You have these folks in their 40s, their 50s, and and so, uh, you know, still around 10, 15 years maybe from retirement, Scott. We're talking about these folks today and how they can get prepared. If you have questions, the number 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. And so, Scott, for those folks that maybe still have another 10 years until they retire, what should they be really prioritizing in terms of their savings at this point? Wants versus needs wants versus needs a lot of time you want to get that fancy car but then you're thinking is my savings do i have enough retirement you're not going to think about that when you're driving that nice new yeah smelling car brand new leather seats or that boat And you think about how much am I saving? How much am I putting away? This is wants versus needs. We all know this. We've all heard it. This is nothing new. You don't have to go get the degrees I have to get that. But it's very, very basics. And you think about the very basic is number one. If you're saving enough money in savings, emergency fund, as well as saving enough money for retirement, do you know that number? Do you know what you should focus on? And don't use these pie in the sky, stupid numbers. Well, if you're getting a 12% rate of return, then you have to always save this. Don't use, be, be very critical on the rate of return. When a financial guy or a gal says, we're going to get you a nice rate of return of 12 to 15%. This happened to me in the eighties when the market was screaming and the nineties. And I remember people coming in, Scott, and the market's screaming. If you can't get me 12 to 15%, I, I can do it myself. And, and they were right in that small window of opportunity Yeah. The, and, and time. The question is, let's not use fake numbers because we don't have a fake retirement. When you get to the retirement age you want to get to, are you using realistic numbers? I'm not going to tell you what it is out there, guys, but I can tell you, use realistic numbers. If you call me or their studios, I'll talk to you about it. But the second thing is, of course, want versus needs. This is the biggest problem. When you say, I want to go on that fancy trip. I can tell you, I've had a clients came in, Scott, we've got over $200,000 saved and we have uh, $1,500 of social security for my wife. My social security is $2,000 a month. And we only need $5,000 to live on. Okay. Well, that means you need $1,500. How do you plan on making that up? So what does $1,500 mean to you? What does your number mean to you? And I talk about this and I use the rule of four to keep real simple. And I'm going to give it real easy to you guys. If you take the rule of four and I need $1,500 to get me my 5,000, like the client, 
Well, $1,500 times 12 is $18,000. So I need to make $18,000 a year for the rest of my life. Well, if I use the rule of four, I simply divide it by the rule of four. That means I need $450,000 in my nest egg by age let's say 65, all right, when I turn on my Social Security, or for those of you, 67, whatever that number is. But now we have to add one more factor in called, well, that's inflation. So let's throw that number in, and that's the number we focus on. Now we can buy that fancy new car with the wonderful smelling seats and the leather. Or we can buy that nice boat. Or maybe we can put the pool in the backyard. But the mindset needs to be, but we need, honey, to put away $341 a month to get to our number. That's what Scotty said, or that's what uh, our financial advisor said. These are numbers, but let's make them more fun because finance is not fun. And most of you listening to me, you probably don't like numbers. Most people don't like numbers, except you win the lottery, then you get the right numbers you like. That's probably the only time you write numbers. But cultivate the mindset of saving. Understand if it's $325 a month you need to save. Honey, can we buy that boat? Yes, we are on target. How great would that feel knowing you're on target and you're going to buy that boat or that pool that you, your, your kids are screaming for, or maybe the college fund you need to save for Alex make finances fun, even though they're not fun. All the times pursue the passions you want retirement, cultivate a social connection. What are we going to do when we retire? What does it look like? And then I think of those older people that are retirement right now, the volunteer give back. There's an organization I'm strongly, strongly love. It's called Star Poverty. Star Poverty right here in Barnegat, New Jersey, where they're only focused to how do I get people food? And they need volunteers. Listen to me right now. Listen to me right now. If you can offer time to Star Poverty right here in Barnegat, New Jersey, please call me. Please call me right now so I can get you the information on Star Poverty. S-T-A-R-V, poverty. They do a wonderful job. This nonprofit, I know the people. I know the money is very fiscally sound. 609-488-4646. I am a big supporter of theirs. I can tell you the work they do for people that are not as privileged as you listening to me. They want to help. If you want to volunteer, do a give back. 609-488-4646. And then you can think about your travel. Where do you want to explore? Not knowing that you've touched your finances are in order, your, I should say, your social calendar is in order, your give back is in order, you're volunteering, helping people. There's nothing worse than staying in your house and doing nothing versus getting out and helping others. This is my biggest ploy when I see people pursuing retirement. Well, here's the more other areas other than money. What are the other areas psychologically, emotionally need to pay attention to? And I think that's really important when it comes to financial planning, Alex, not just numbers. Yeah, no, that's a great point. And and I know a lot of people listening right now as we're talking about Gen Xers and baby boomers. And one thing that they share is that they may be a, a part of that sandwich generation where they're right in between. Maybe they're taking care of parents and they're taking kids at the same time. And Scott, you know, this can have a huge impact on your finances, can have a huge impact on on planning for your own well-being in the future. And And how does maybe someone address this? Sandwich generation. You know, I heard that. It was kind of funny. And, and you think about taking care of your mom and dad, like my meeting just a while ago, helping your mom and dad. Or, or maybe you meet a Generation Xer and they're 50 years old, you got a couple kids, maybe, maybe their kids are um, 20, 23. And then you got the grandmom and grandpa, 70s and 80s. How does that look? And then all of a sudden you find out you have to take care of mom and dad and you're juggling all sorts of emotional things, taking care of your mom and dad, taking care of your young kids. And all of a sudden the grandbabies start popping out or your children uh, are having struggles. These, I don't know if this is answering your question when you think about it, Alex, but the generation extras and versus the uh, boomers, this sandwich generation, the financial responsibilities may not seem much to you now, But when it sneaks up on you and your dad has a heart attack, your mom gets MS, your children get a divorce and they don't have any money, 
it sneaks up on everybody. It affects yep. more than just one person. This is an emotional f- and financial question, Alex. And this is a big thing that people aren't paying attention, let alone the medication, the expense they're paying for, for health care. Yeah. And so this is a really important, Alex. Well, and I think the, the big thing is, Scott, is that you can plan, 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 but life is going to happen. Yep. You know, yes, it, it's, sure. it's going to happen and you've seen it happen. And people know yeah. this already in their own lives. They know that they've they've planned. And then, well, I didn't know I'd get married at 20 and, and yeah. you know divorced at 30. Or I didn't know that, like you said, my yeah. my parent was going to get sick or whatever. And so, you know, it is important to plan. And then you also have to plan for the unexpected, which I know that sounds impossible. But there it's are really things you important. can put in place to do that. Right, Scott? In the, in the Alex, last couple uh, minutes, we uh, have. This funny. Just just a, a lovely client they have a significant amount of money husband and wife great they've been with us many many years as financial clients we've guided them through the legal and taxes let me give you a situation this may be you out there listen they're close uh this they have a beautiful son a beautiful daughter the daughter went through a uh, terrible d- divorce she has two children and now she's getting remarried and she will be inheriting significant money when mom and dad pass away. I know that. I know the whole family. Here's the question. When I asked the father today, if your daughter dies Hmm. before you do, and then the money goes to the estate, does the money go to the grandchildren? He goes, well, you know, Scott, you did my estate. I said, I know. But what does her will say? What if she dies after you? She inherits the money. Then she dies. Does her new husband get the money and the money goes to her children and to his children? Does she have that in her will? Has the financial advisor paid attention to the will of your children, the will, power of attorney, living will? You see, when you pass money on, we can help our clients grow money, Alex. The question is, what happens if they pass on? Should we have that? I call it the come to Jesus meeting. Come down to earth and find out, by the way, kids, I'm not trying to weasel my life into you becoming your financial advisor, but mom and dad want to make sure that you're buttoned up nice and tight, that in the event mom and dad dies, that your money goes to you and your portion of the money goes to the blood, not to the new husband or the new husband's children if they have children uh, before they get married. I see this time and time again. People are not paying attention to the legal aspects, let alone where does the money go and do they have enough money, Alex? This is another snag in the three blind mice scenario. 609-488-4646. By the way, guys, that's my website, 609-488-4646. That's the phone number. And it's also 609-488-4646.com. You can't forget it. Why? Because we're here for you to help you answer your questions and concerns. No cost, no time is the best time right now. Financial Insanity with Scott McClain continues in just a moment. Who likes uncertainty? Wall Street certainly does not. With near record inflation and partisan politics, there's a lot of uncertainty right now. What will America's future look like? What will your future look like? Will your taxes go up? Will your savings go down? For more than 40 years here in the Jersey Shore area, Scott McLean and the team at McLean Advisory Group have seen uncertainty come and go. No matter what the future holds, Scott can help you create a plan designed to preserve your finances in uncertain times. And it's not a matter of if those uncertain times will show up, but when. Call 609-488-4646 now to meet with Scott McLean and the team at McLean Advisory Group. If uncertainty is causing you to feel insecure, Scott McLean might be able to help. Call 609-488-4646 and schedule your visit today. Again, that's 609 609- 488-4646. Investment advice is offered through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. I call it the chicken and the egg. The chicken is the investment. The egg is the dividend. And so when the chicken pops out the eggs, if you don't need the money, let's reinvest the eggs and buy more chickens. Man, that's just an excellent analogy, Scott. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, powered by McLean Advisory Group. McLean Advisory Group is so thankful for our veterans and the sacrifices they've made over the years. We're going to talk today about some programs aiming to help these great veterans with daily activities, medical expenses, and more. 
financial insanity, out-of-the-box thinking for your financial sanity. I'm Alex Dingman, alongside, as always, Scott McClain. That's and right. today, <laughs> we have a good friend of his, Robert Brown, retired Navy veteran for over 20 years. He was a chief petty officer for the Persian Gulf and now Veterans Service and Officer helping folks. Robert, thank you so much for serving this great country and for continuing to help folks uh, uh, find those welcome. great My benefits. My pleasure. That is awesome. And Scott, I know you guys have quite the history and uh, you like each other a little bit. You work together, you like each other, and, and that's a good mix, right, Scott? <laughs> Once in a while. <laughs> it, is, it is a good mix. Uh, yeah. Uh, his wife's beautiful, beautiful family, took his family out on the boat. We just had some fun together. So the neatest thing is how it started as we were helping our veterans. I took a class, as I mentioned in our previous show, about the aid and attendance pension benefit, which that benefit for you, whether you're in a nursing home or you're at home, I mean, that benefit is really, really beneficial. My daddy uh, was served in Korea. My grandfather served in World War II, and I am a 4F, not a Dodger. I'm a 4F. In other words, I didn't qualify because of surgeries on my body before when I tried to go in, but that was the rule in the McLean house. But notwithstanding, the aid and attendance benefit on our previous show talked about could you get benefits whether you're at home or not because you're sick or disabled, or maybe you need to go into a facility like Vineland, Paramus, Menlo Park. There's great facility, uh, one of the best ones, I believe, in, in New Jersey is Vineland. But this program today, we spoke about that as a previous program, but this program today is for our veterans that serve. And there's two types of benefits, the two types of benefits that Robert is very well of. And Robert is a 100% disabled veteran benefit, not because he's ugly and I'm better looking, but because because he's actually, this is not textbook, this is real world. And of course, the lawyer in our office also is a 100% disabled benefit, getting these wonderful benefits. There's, there's a connected benefit service-connected benefit, and there's a non-service-connected benefit. And Robert, if we looked at the service-connected versus non-service, we talk about the aid and attendance benefit, which is a wonderful benefit for those of you or your parents. You need to know about it. You need to ask us. And by the way, if you if you don't know about that, the number is 609-488-4646. Please feel free to give our, our studios a call to, if you have any questions. Um, we'll get you in touch with uh, Robert or someone that can handle your calls. If, I can, if I'm busy, I don't want to miss your call. 609-488-4646. But Alex, we're talking about this yeah. connected benefits. Rob, there's two types of benefits. Let's give a summary of the uh, this other benefit we talk about. Well, you see on TV all the time this benefit uh, down in Camp Lejeune. We've been doing this thing for how many years, Robert? Since two thousand eight. Sure, a long time. And I have one of our gentlemen in our in our in our church who has spina bifida, which comes from the uh, water Camp Lejeune, and he, as child of a veteran, didn't know he qualified. And when I mentioned to him, he says, "I don't believe it." And so, of course, now he believes it. Robert, there's a lot of benefits. Let's go ahead and break it down as quick as you can sure. as we think about this great benefit. Okay. So generally the way this works is if you wore a uniform for some period of time, however long that was, and you got injured doing anything, it could have been your hand, your finger, your eye, your leg, your knee, what have you, and that's a, recorded somewhere in your medical record, then you report that. The big question to the VA before they'll pay you any compensation is this, if this is the term. It's not a pension. This form is called a compensation. Before they pay you any compensation of money, they have to figure out, did this happen while you're in uniform, while you're active duty, or did it not? So if you were out of service and discharged, you got a car accident, it's, quote, a non-service connected issue, and the VA will not pay that. So it had to have happened or started or at least exacerbated while you were in the service in the uniform. So is this a service connected benefit? That's what has to be determined first. And the VA does a process to figure that out. Once that's done, they say, okay, here's your problem. I understand. I'm going to send you to a third party adjudicator to figure out, to confirm the, the severity of that problem. If it's hearing again, if it's a broken leg, what have you, and where do we go from there? Is it a recurring problem or is it a problem that's been fixed and now you're 100% better? Again, no compensation. But if there is still an existing issue, then the VA will pay this compensation of a certain percentage equating to a certain amount of dollars every single month, again, tax free. In our place in uh, Alex, or Florida, we have an Ocala a farm and we have an equestrian center down there. We, we're behind there at the World Equestrian Center. We have one of our gentlemen who takes care of our property down there. And he is a veteran. He was uh, in Afghanistan. He went through some real challenges. 
and he wasn't sure about the benefits. I said, Robert, do me a favor and give my friend, we won't say his name, but give my friend a call. I think he qualifies for benefits. He was not getting 100%, and he did connect it. He has, he's been through a lot of challenges. I won't go deep, but some of you listening right now, maybe you have been in some deep challenges, and, and you're afraid to apply because you saw your buddies got damaged or hurt in the war, but you didn't, and therefore you think you shouldn't apply because you don't deserve it. Downplay, right? downplaying the, the you, issue you think other people deserve it but you may, you are just as eligible from a wartime vet versus a service connected vet two different situations and robert and i see this all the time and i see these veterans as i'm doing the financial planning and i ask the question what went on and when i see their eyes glaze over they don't want to talk about it i wait to get alone with them or i have robert call them because a vet to a vet will talk Versus I'm a non-vet, even though I know this program very well, uh, they would rather speak to somebody who's been in the in the muck, who's been in the trenches, sure. who's gone through this war problem. And then, of course, I tell Robert, do me a favor, call maybe you. If your spouse, if you're on there and your wife or your husband's on there and you've seen your spouse go through this, give us a call and maybe Robert can can help you say some yeah, words okay. where maybe your husband or your wife, the veteran, would like to get help but they're afraid to get help. And I can't tell you when I was developing another program with Columbia university, which is the, with the horses, if you'll see war horses with uh, Earl Mack, we were developing that program until COVID hit. I can tell you this is a tremendous benefit for PTSD as well. Robert can be very helpful. 609-488-4646. Again, please don't put yourself on the shelf. Yeah. Come off the shelf. Come off the, uh, well, I don't need to apply. I'm tough. Well, I, I'm doing that now with my hurt knee. I walk around tough because I know I got to get surgery. But this is something you don't want to put off because as you get older, more issues start to crop up, Robert. Is that right? Oh, they do. They increase uh, over the time, multiple times. And then it, had you not explored that issue, now you're putting it off. And the commencement begins when you start your application. You cannot get any retroactive money, but only moving forward once the application is put in. So, so don't hesitate. Talk to us. Get a hold of us. We'll figure out where to navigate the waters from there. Sailor speaking. Once and go the from there. application is put in, so thinking right. about it doesn't right. start it. Just filling out the form doesn't start it. You actually have to submit it. Yeah, that's correct. And that's Scott, correct. you've been helping people with their finances for over 40 years, but also very importantly, since 2008, you've been specifically helping people with their benefits if they're veterans as you opened up the Veterans Benefit Advisory Group back in 2008. And we're talking today with Robert Brown, retired Navy Chief Petty Officer, served for 20 years and now is a Veterans Service Officer. And guys, we have a few minutes left and I know we're talking about some known benefits, some unknown benefits. What maybe are, are some other benefits or opportunities for folks that people should know about? Uh, well, there's a number of them. Some of them are, uh, if you wanted dental care, you can get that. Not necessarily a particular benefit, but a, a benefit from having served. If you had dental issues, you can apply for a certificate of eligibility for a home loan. There are burial benefits that many, many people don't know about as far as funeral services costs incurred. Uh, the veterans cemetery, the, the plot, the grave marker, some of those. There's a spousal benefit that you can get for the spouses of the veteran who passed away. Uh, again, a monthly basis for payment of that surviving spouse benefit, they called, or there's dependent education benefits for the children of some of those veterans. Uh, for example, my daughter is going to Stockton University for as a quote cut rate because the VA pays part of her education hmm. based upon my disability. So Very she's cool. the recipient of, of my service and gets those benefits for, for her college education. So, so spouse, uh, dependent education benefits there. My wife could go to school if she would choose to because of the disability status that I'm at. Uh, and, and again, all of this, is a monthly benefit, non-taxable. You don't talk about it to the accountants. And Robert, I want to interject real quick because I think it's very important. The number 609-488-4646, but the point that this is great information for veterans, but also veterans' families as well. That's something for folks that are listening out there. There's opportunities for the families of veterans also. Again, that number is 609-488-4646. Four, six. Robert, Scott, please continue. Got a couple moments left here. Very important stuff. A couple things that hit my mind that I don't think we brought up. I can't find my dad's 
records. I can't find the DD-214. I don't know what to do. Robert, what do they do? Because this is a, a, a reason not to follow up because you don't know what to do. B, a reason to put it off and, and maybe I'll get to it later. Uh, it's almost like putting your Christmas tree up on December 24th because you don't have any money. Well, that's what I did when I, when I was broke. But this is different. This is a benefit for life. Robert, I can't find the records. What do we do? Okay. So, so to answer that really is talk to me. All right. Tell me what you know. And tell me what you don't know. And I say that because if you don't know how to get your record, and again, this could be the military discharge document, DD-214, or the, again, the, the War Department, the WD document, or it could be I don't have medical records from when I was in. I was in Agent Orange, and when we got discharged, we just sent us home, and I wanted to get out of the Vietnam, so I just left. I never got my records, my medical records, to prove any of my disability. So we could start from there. The answer is come and talk to us. I know exactly where we submit to. I know the documents to submit for. We just do a couple documents, submit it. It comes in the mail and we begin. So if you don't have documents, that's okay. We'll get them. And it's as simple as that. We know where to, to lead everyone to get this benefit. You start with that. You need the foundation. Then we proceed forward with an application and submission. I think the worst thing I find out with veterans uh, being in this business now, 40 plus years, my dad did pass away within five days when he had leukemia. Hmm. Uh, Mom passed away in uh, three months and uh, we never went for the benefit. I frankly never knew about this benefit until I was invited to school. I I thought there was a a scam and they said, well, you pay $2,500, come to our school, learn about these benefits. I really honestly thought it was a scam. Dave Conley, one of our attorneys that we work with on estate planning, said, Scotty, what's 2500 bucks when you can help vets? And he always calls me a draft dodger, even though I wasn't <laughs> because I was 4F. Yeah, the we good friends give you the hardest time. That's for they sure. Do, they are. We, we've been together since 1984, Dave Conley and I. And, and the funniest thing, the wonderful most thing is, is I did go to school and I said, holy mackerel, every financial advisor should be asking the question, Are you a veteran? Was your husband or wife a veteran? Maybe they passed away. Was your mom and dad a veteran? This is part of the estate planning process, Alex. As I as I meet with people, I'm asking lots of questions. They're asking, why are you asking these questions? Because I'm looking for benefits they are totally unaware of. I'm looking to reduce taxes, the best benefit. I'm looking to make their life much more pleasant. So when they retire, they don't worry about running out of money. They they enjoy their lifestyle. And that's why I added this veterans benefit in there because they didn't take me, Alex. And I yep. felt guilty because that's the whole thing in the McLean's. All the McLean's have to join. That yep. was the rule. And they didn't take me. And I frankly was scared to call my dad saying they turned me down. They 4F me. Sure. But the moment I told him, I applied to every single facility, whether the Army, Navy, Marines, which, which I went for first. Every one of them turned me down. I didn't know they shared records. And then all of a sudden, I was afraid to call my dad. When I called him, he said, okay, son, no big deal. I thought I was going to get drilled down because his goal and the family was to drill down people to find out the best way possible. Now, Robert, as we close on this subject, um, as a veteran, you've seen people pause the, you've, you've seen people apply. You've seen people get denied. And then they say, well, I applied, I did it myself and I didn't get approved. And because they didn't get help. What do you say? Well, well, first of all, I say it, you you may not have completed every single document in every single line entry that the VA wants. So they don't explain the, the discrepancy on your document. They just send it back and say, sorry, not approved. So it becomes very important to know exactly what forms to fill out, exactly where to sign, how to answer the questions in order to get approved at the VA level. And based upon expertise here, that's how you get it through. We've had one claim who got approved and Scott could verify in from start to finish in 10 days. That was a miracle though. That was that 10 was, days. Don't expect Phenomenal. that guys. It was, this was a miracle. <laughs> I, I told you, I told you very clearly, but that was wonderful. It was. Well, she it started was coming awesome. in. The wife came in the husband's life. His Corps noodles vet. went the Marine Corps vet. His noodles went uh, South. He was getting uh, flashbacks. He came in, she was crying, didn't know what to do. They was going to, they were burning cash. They were going to the nursing home. They came, she came in from hearing me from other people. She came in within, I can't, and I will tell you this, I don't know how it happened so quick. I've never seen it, but but it is out there. It is real as long as you do it correct, guys. Yep. Alex? Yep, thank and, you. And you need some guidance, and that's really what it's what we're out here for. We're to guide you to where we need to be based upon your service 
and your commitment in in military. Thank you. And that's where it is. And again, serving vets is ideal and in my heart every single day. Thank you so much for that. Great way to close. And again, if you need help, 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. Great guest today, Veteran Service Officer Robert Brown. Robert, again, thank you for being a guest today. More importantly, thank you for serving our nation. You're welcome. Thanks, buddy. Scott opened up the Veterans Benefit Advisory Group in 2008 to help veterans and their families, guiding them to these important benefits. Again, that number, 609-488-4646. The number for Scott McLean, McLean Advisory Group, 609-488-4646. And again, a special salute and thank you to all of our veterans. This radio program may contain information which has gone regulatory or other significant changes since its original recording. The information and views expressed on today's show is educational in nature and is not intended to be a recommendation for any specific investment, product, strategy, plan, tax, or legal advice. Information presented is believed to be factual and up to date, but we do not guarantee its accuracy. Investment advisory services offered through Sound Income Strategies, LLC, LC, a SEC registered investment advisory firm. McLean Advisory Group and Sound Income Strategies, LLC, are not associated entities. This radio show is a paid placement. 